Hey there, you're right. So I'm doing a video on division over here with negative values, so let's jump right into it. Here we've got negative 2 over 5, and remember when you're dividing, it, the one that you're doing the reciprocal of is what it's after the division sign. So it's the negative 3 over 4 is what I'm doing the reciprocal of, okay? So when I do the reciprocal there, I normally like to keep the a negative with the numerator. Okay, so when I flip it, when I flip it, it is okay to write it like this, four over negative three, it is okay. Okay, if you're uncomfortable with that, you can keep the negative on the very outside, like over here, if you want. It's just that a lot of students get confused between that minus and the division sign, and then it confuses them. I like to keep it in there in a place, it actually doesn't matter whether it's the numerator or denominator, as long as one is positive and the other one is negative, it is okay. All right, now let's have a look. So I'm up to this step here, negative two over five, and remember when you do the reciprocal, or division is actually the same as timesing the reciprocal, and so therefore, when you're solving for this, we now do the same thing. Before you multiply or divide, I want you to get into the habit of checking are there common factors. So I can see 2, uh, compare it with 5, no common factors. Compare 2 with 3, no common factors there. So then I try 4, any common factors with 3? No. Nah. What about 4 and 5? No. Nah. So that means this is as simplified as it can get. So then the next step must then be when you're multiplying, it's top and top, bottom and bottom. So numerator with numerator, in the intermediate step, you should have negative 2 times 4 all over 5 times negative 3. See what I'm doing there? And so together, negative 2 times 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, but note that this is a negative number and this is a positive, so the overall should be negative. So I've got negative 8 divided by 5 times negative 3 is again negative 15. So I'm just going to put double negative there so you can see. And then here, what you need to realize is this actually means negative 8 and that's over 15. Negative 15 means divide negative 15. And what we know is when you're dividing, notice that there are two negatives. And so when we look back at our chart over here, remember the chart, double negatives is actually positive. Can you see that? I'm just going to highlight it to help you. Ne double negative is an overall positive. So whilst this is the correct answer uh, down here, the best answer is to rewrite it and write it as positive 8 over 15. And that's just simply because we like working with positive numbers and we're not too much of a, of a negative numbered person, uh, but also it means re reduction of the number of symbols you need to use. So you can just write 8 over 15. Okay, so that's that's how you would do this division. Uh, I would say the only thing that adds a layer to it is the negative sign. If you're struggling or you're finding it difficult with the division, go back to exercise 3B and watch my videos to make sure that you've had enough practice to understand the, the steps there. Okay, I hope those videos are currently useful.